Okay guys, so this is my Dragoonity deck. I'm gonna go through the extra deck, side deck, and then other options for other builds. Uh, Android Catastrophe. You only go into that with the Legionnaire plus a Phalanx or a Ackley, so it hardly happens. So you don't need both, just one. But yeah. Uh, Amazing, you need that in the deck. And you need double Trish in this build at least. Mistworm sometimes is better than a Trish. Uh, side deck options. GBs. I'm not running it, so. Those are fucking amazing. Everyone side deck pulling the rugs. Just like Noblemans. Uh, these are against Grey Keepers and plants, most likely not plants, but yeah. Uh, pulling Dragoonities, Monarchs. Uh, what else were they good against? Fuck, there was another great one. Oh, Gadgets, obviously. Dust Tornado, Grey Keepers, and Mirror Match. Forbidden Lances. Just just against like a build like mine because I run Icarus Attack. Forbidden Lance can chain to that. I run Compulsus. Forbidden Lance can chain that. I run Bottomless. Forbidden Lance can chain that. And you need to protect your ducks at all costs. Here's what other people run. I don't run them. And if you run Pot of Avarices, they'll be replaced in the next set. Because we're getting a card that says return two wind monsters from your deck to your... I mean, from a graveyard to your deck. To return one card on the field to the owner's hand. That's going to replace Pot of Avarices, obviously. Uh, but I'm just... I don't like Pot of Avarices. They're not good early games, so that's why people discarding with Dragons is vain, but I still hate them. Royal Decrees... To prevent their ducks from being hit by most of the shit out there. I just don't like waiting that extra turn. I'm an aggressive player. Danny Lion. Easy Trish. Double Veiler. Oh, this is your game winning card always. A, a ducks. Legionnaire I use maybe once a game. Maybe. Not even always. Just sometimes once a game I'll use a Legionnaire. Ackleys. The reason why I'm running so many Ackleys and Phalanxes is because I run a shitload of Cards of Consonants. Post Burial. Amazing. Need that. Speeds up the deck. And there's your draw power. Uh, you could take out the Icarus. I don't. I, I somewhat like it. I usually discard a Dragon's Vein because my only target is Legionnaire. Don't say Ducks because you need your fucking Ducks. You're not gonna Icarus the Ducks. Seven Tools. Stop most of the shit out there. Let me change the song real fast. What strong button? No. I hate that Usher cover. Seven tools, uh, stops bottomlesses, all the staples, but mainly the warning or judgment. That's why I like running double seven tools and no trap stuns. Uh, bottomlesses, triple compulse because it's a bitch. And uh, soul and judgment, I just sold mine. Uh, it's being reprinted in like a week and a half, two weeks. So, I just sold it because I was able to. And since I don't play competitively, it's not like I need the Soul and Judgment. And if I do, I can borrow it. Let me show you guys some of the moves I make. Show you how to abuse uh, Trish. Uh, so many times I plus on a Scrap Dragon. And those.
Those are your most three used synchros. I'll show you the main cards right now. For the entire deck. If you get any of those four cards, you pretty much win. Four or five cards. Okay, you have a, a Dragon's of Van with the ducks in your hand, okay? Discard Dandelion, get your two tokens, and in this case, my tokens are going to be kind of wide since they're nice and handy. Oh, uh, just send your Phalanx. Summon your ducks, get your phalanx, put your phalanx. That's what your field looks like afterwards. So you went from these three cards into those three cards. And you can still plus on Dragons of the next turn. Okay, now let me show you guys some other things I do. Uh, here's a move I actually do quite a bit, but a lot of people don't do it, use it. Uh, summon ducks, valence, and I dropped something there. What was it? Uh, get that. Uh, Instead of getting phalanx, because I've seen people just go like that straight into Stardust always. But some players, it's rare to see players do that, but you quit their Ackleys, tribute their Ackleys. For his effect, you tribute them, increase his attack by double to 3,800 attack. And now you get Ackley's effect to destroy one card on the field. So you can clear your way and poke for 3,800. That's amazing. Uh... I also rip the Scrap Dragon after plussing on the Dragon's of Let, Let's just say you have these two cards. Play that, discard that, search that. Now you go do do do. Do do. And then if they didn't stop your ducks, most likely they won't have nothing. So if you have your ducks, you're already in the clear. And then you go boom boom, boom boom. So if they have a back row and they didn't activate it on your ducks, that means it's either a bluff or it's a battle phase card like a mirror force or a D prison or something like that. So since you just plussed, trivia that, get your the shit out of the way and poke for a giant 2800. Uh, that's the only thing I do. If they don't stop my ducks, that means their back row is a bluff or waiting for the battle phase. It's those two options. And that's why you need to run the Scrap Dragon. Because if you could attack directly, you want to just tribute that. Even though you plus heavy on that, no. You don't want to take the chance of your Scrap Dragon being wasted then. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys uh, is a card destruction. I want to test play a card destruction. Because no one runs card destruction in the, the Dragonity build. Uh, I kind of think it's going to be crappy, but I just like card destruction. It could make me plus on my opponent minus. Uh, but, I don't know. It's just a thought. It's not like I'm really running it. The deck is 40 cards, 17 monsters, 8 traps, and like 14 spells or so. 14 or so, yeah. So, just check out, check out the video again. Watch it a few times. Uh, favorite rate it comment and there's my feet i'm wearing shorts so don't trip okay later guys subscribe